Long lines greeted some voters in Wake County this morning as early voting kicked into gear. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Trump are neck and neck in the polls. Kelsey Coffey spoke with voters about what motivated them to cast their ballot today. Wake County has 22 early voting locations. That's the most the county has ever had. And if you take a look at this line here, this is one of the busiest early voting locations in the county here in downtown Cary. We'll give you a look now at lines from even earlier this morning, and we have a few things to tell you before you head to the polls today. If you vote early, you can vote at any polling location in the county where you're registered. People who want to use same day registration during early voting need two things, proof of residency and an accepted form of photo ID. Your North Carolina driver's license can serve both needs if it shows your current address. Wake County voters, there's a wait time tracker that you can use on the county website. That'll make it a little bit easier for you to pick which early voting location works best for your schedule. We caught up with a few voters today after they cast their ballots. We did a, a look online for, you know, what our ballot would look like prior to getting here. So we, you know, were able to look a little bit more about some people we didn't know. And I think that everybody owe it to themselves to be a part of the country and to build a part of democracy. So I think that everybody should vote. The polls will close tonight at 730 and the last day to vote early is November 2nd. Kelsey Coffey, WRL News and Cary. With less than three weeks until the general election, both presidential candidates are making efforts to reach a broader base. Trump used a town hall event yesterday to address Latino voters in Miami. One man who said he was no longer registered as Republican asked Trump about January 6th riot because he says he wanted to give the former president the chance to win his vote back. Some of those people went down to the Capitol. I said, peacefully and patriotically. Nothing done wrong at all. Nothing done wrong. But that was a day of love from the standpoint of the millions. It's During the town hall event, Trump also refused to back off false claims about Haitian migrants eating pets in Ohio. On the Democratic side, Vice President Kamala Harris sat down with Fox News Network, hoping to reach viewers across the aisle. There were several contentious exchanges between her and Brett Baer, particularly on the issue of immigration. Let's be very clear. I'm the only person who's running for president who has prosecuted transnational criminal organizations from the Sinaloa cartel to the Guadalajara quota cartel to people who have trafficked in guns, drugs, and human beings. I have spent a significant part of my career going after people who present a threat to the safety of the American people and, and cross our border with the intent of doing us harm and cross our border illegally. Specifically the influx of illegal. Bear pressed Harris about whether she had noticed Biden was diminished. She countered by saying Biden has been up to the job and quickly pivoted to Trump, casting him as the one who can't meet the demands of the presidency. We have a voter's guide for you on our website. It has information about same day registration, all the important dates you need to know, how to vote by mail, as well as information on voter ID requirements. Just go to WRL. Vice President Kamala Harris had a rare and combative interview with conservative Fox News. May I finish responding, please? Starting with a clash over immigration. When asked how many undocumented immigrants have crossed the border under the Biden-Harris administration, slamming former President Trump's opposition to a bipartisan border bill. It is a uh, topic of discussion that people want to rightly have. And you know what I'm going to talk about. Yeah, but right do you, now, just a is, number. Do you but, think it's but, one million, three million? Brett, let's just get to the point, okay? The point is that we have a broken immigration system that needs to be repaired. Harris also seizing on Trump's repeated comments, attacking his political opponents as evil and dangerous. He's the one who talks about an enemy within. within. This is a democracy. And in, in a democracy, the president of the United States in the United States of America should be willing to be able to handle criticism without saying he'd lock people up for doing it. The former president online insisting the appearance showed Harris is totally incompetent. Asked why polls show nearly half of voters support a second Trump presidency, Harris took another swipe at Trump. So are they misguided, the 50 percent? Are they stupid? What, oh, what God, is it? I would never say that about the American people. And in fact, if you listen to Donald Trump, if you watch any of his rallies, he's the one who tends to demean and belittle and diminish 
the American people. And the vice president, who's faced criticism for saying she wouldn't do anything differently from President Biden, trying to combat that Republican line of attack, responding last night. My presidency will not be a continuation of Joe Biden's presidency. I will bring my life experiences, my professional experiences, and fresh and new ideas. I represent a new generation of leadership. Former President Trump pushing back about questions on his fitness for office. On Wednesday, during a Fox News town hall, the former president responding to criticism about those comments calling Democrats enemies from within. I wasn't unhinged. I'm not threatening anybody. They're the ones doing the threatening. They do phony investigations. I've been investigated more than Alphonse Capone. And raising eyebrows with his comments about in vitro fertilization in front of an audience of all women, a key demographic where he has struggled. I'm the father of IVF, so I want to hear this question. The former president arguing he's defended the procedure after having it explained to him by Republican Senator Katie Britt. I got a call from Katie Britt, a young, just a fantastically attractive person from Alabama. She's a senator. I said, explain IVF. Very, IVF very quickly and within about two minutes I understood it. I said, no, no, we're totally in favor of IVF. Vice President Harris firing back. Donald Trump, I, I, I found it to be quite bizarre, actually called himself the father of IVF. Let's not be distracted by his um, choice of words. The reality is his actions have been very harmful to women and, and families. It comes as Trump is also trying to expand his support among Latino voters a group Republicans have made inroads with, discussing immigration in a town hall on Univision. And the African-American population and the Hispanic population in particular are losing jobs now because millions of people are coming in. But asked to clarify his debunked claims based on social media rumors that immigrants in Springfield, Ohio are eating pets. I was just saying what was reported, that's been reported. Uh, and eating other things, too, that uh, they're not supposed to be. Meanwhile, Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, who has been cautious about questions surrounding the outcome of the 2020 election, providing his most direct answer yet. I think there are serious problems in 2020. So did Donald Trump lose the election? Not by the words that I would use.